Well, good Monday morning. Uh, today we read Luke eight twenty six through 39. They sailed to the country of the Gerasenes, which is opposite Galilee. When Jesus had stepped out on land, there met him a man from the city who had demons. For a long time he'd worn no clothes, and he'd not lived in a house but among the tombs. When he saw Jesus, he cried out and fell down before him and said with a loud voice, What have you to do with me, Jesus, Son of the Most High God? I beg you, do not torment me. For he had commanded the unclean spirit to come out of the man. For many a time it had seized him. He was kept under guard and bound with chains and shackles. But he would break the bonds and be driven by the demons into the desert. Jesus said, asked him, what is your name? And he said, Legion, for many demons had entered him. And they begged him not to command them to depart into the abyss. Now a large herd of pigs was feeding there on the hillside, and they begged him to let them enter these, so he gave them permission. Then the demons came out of the man and entered the pigs, and the herd rushed down the steep bank into the lake and drowned. When the herdsmen saw what had happened, they fled and told it in the city and in the country. Then the people went out to see what had happened, and they came to Jesus and found the man from whom the demons had gone, sitting at the feet of Jesus, clothed and in his right mind. And they were afraid. And those who had seen it told him how the demon-possessed man had been healed. Then all the people of the surrounding country of the Gerasenes asked him to depart from them, for they were seized with great fear. So he got into the boat and returned. The man from whom the demons had gone begged that he might be with them, but Jesus sent him away, saying, Return to your home and declare how much God has done for you. And he went away, proclaiming throughout the whole city how much Jesus had done for him. So Jesus goes opposite of Galilee, across the Sea of, Ga of uh, Galilee, the big lake, you know, into another area and meets a man who's full of demons. You know, a legion of 6,000 Roman soldiers. And so when they said legion, they mean a lot of demons. And they said, please don't send us into the abyss. And Jesus says, all right, go into those pigs. The Jews don't have any time for pigs. We don't know why they were growing, uh, raising pigs on the, on the other side, but they weren't Jews, I guess. So the demons go into the pigs, and then the pigs drown. And some modern ethicists complain that Jesus killed these pigs. And, you know, commentators say, well, you know, it was the demons who killed the pigs, not Jesus. So, you know, give him a little bit of a break. You can parse that however you want. Um, that's what happened, and uh, the man is left healed, and that's the important thing. And and the townspeople who know this man is he's the wild, crazy man who lives out there in the tombs, and and you know keep your children away from him. He's sitting there in his right mind, and they don't know what to do. He doesn't really want to stay in town. He wants to go with Jesus. And Jesus says, no, tell everybody how much God has done for you. So the man stays and does that. Um, tells how much Jesus has done for him, it pointedly says. And so Jesus and God are kind of equated there, which is right. Um, and Jesus, you know, he comes to this country, he does this thing, and they, don't, they ask him, to say, please leave. We don't, we don't want you around here. You're too, you're too threatening. You're too wild. Just go. So he says, all right, I'll go. You don't want me? I'll go. It would be a pity if Jesus found that kind of reception, you know, here among us because we don't want him to do things that are out of the ordinary or off the usual uh, path of things. We don't want wild, weird miracles happening, so we'll just ask him to leave. That'd be a shame, wouldn't it? I think it would, and I hope that we don't do that. But in the meantime, I hope that um, I hope that you'll think about this and think what you think about those pigs. 
I've always thought, well, Jesus was just being Jewish. He didn't like pigs and didn't eat pigs and didn't need pigs. And so let the pigs, let the demons go in the pigs. Maybe not, but you can think about that. Have a great day. We will see you tomorrow.